I've been knowing him since he's a youngster, since he's about 22, 23 years old. And uh, uh, even back in his formative years, he had a high developed sense of justice. And the reason I know that is because I worked with him, he was my partner when we were police officers. And regardless of how provoking the people might have been that we were dealing with, or how absolutely absurd the situation might have been, he always uh, had an even hand in how he uh, arrived at his final disposition. Even back then, and so I, I think that's one of uh, one of his strongest uh, attributes, and I think that's exactly what we need uh, in a Superior Court judge. I think Phil Crawford knows Santa Cruz, and he believes in Santa Cruz, and he wants to bring it back to what it's always been, without letting it get away from the roots that have been established here throughout generations. He's going to keep it real for the families that have been here. I think that Phil has a way of bringing it back to its simple form, just keeping it, bringing it, bringing Santa Cruz back to the way it was. I think Mr. Crawford has the ability to keep our community safe. He needs to turn the tide, and I think what's happening now, it can be changed. And it takes a, it, it takes individuals that have experience, and that he has the experience that it takes to change things. And he's not on the street. He's going to be in the courthouse. He's going to be defending us or prosecuting these people. But he could make it so that the police officers feel safe to do their job. It's the bottom line. It's up to him. It starts at the top, and it starts at the bottom. If everybody starts at a certain time, we can meet at the middle and all come together. Absolutely. It doesn't need to be hard. Well, to elaborate on keeping it real, he is, as they said, Santa Cruz native. Um, kids in Santa Cruz, he knows what's going on, he listens to us, and the experience. I firsthand have seen him and I was amazed. He has the experience. So I knew him as a friend and saw him on a business level and was quite impressed. He's our guy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I think he's just a stand-up guy, and I think he will be fair. I really do think he'll weigh the pros and cons and just be a fair person in general. So he'll be fair to all yeah. sides, huh? Well, I mean, that's what a judge is supposed to do, weigh everything and be fair, and not, you know, discriminate or not, you know, be stereotypical or not be biased. That's what a judge is supposed to do, and I actually believe he can do that. Cool. I've actually watched him weigh stuff in his head, and I believe that he actually has all those things to make it happen. And he actually met with my boss, who runs Locatelli Moving and Storage, and she's owned the company for 28 years, and she's totally 100% behind him. And very she really attractive. And, and, and very assertive in town, and actually she was like, yeah, you know what, I really like what you have to say, and I just, I like the fact that he's been in family law for so long, yeah. so his perspective, and he, want, he actually ran for sheriff years ago, I mean, his, his, his realm is quite great. Yes. You know him 35 years? 35 years, I know him 35 years. He worked for Saturday PD, I was a sheriff. Huh? And, uh, very well qualified. Just look at his resume, I'll tell you. Very fair. He helps people too. Anybody that needed help can go talk to Phil and he can usually help you with anything you need. He's a good man. We think he's probably going to be the best candidate for judge here in uh, Santa Cruz, so certainly he's got our support. Well, my name is Carmen Castellano, and I've known Phil for over 30 years. We both worked at San Jose City College. Oh. I worked in the Sen Senate, faculty Senate office. He was my boss. He was oh. Senate president for several terms. So that's when I really got to know Phil really well. But we've had an ongoing relationship since then. He's still teaching there. I worked there for 33 years. I retired in 2001, so I've known Phil over all these years. And what I can say about Phil, he's one of the most ethical, hardworking individuals I've ever known. He's extremely intelligent, he's absolutely trustworthy, and he's the kind of people, person that we need uh, sitting in, in a position of judgeship here in San Francisco County. So I endorse him very highly.
Well, I, anybody that's a friend of Carmen is a friend of mine. <laughs> Yeah. We live in Saratoga, but we also have a home here in Athos. Huh? So, you know, we're, we're, we're residents, so we, we know what's happening here. And, uh, and it's actually it's very unique. You know, it's, it's different. It's, um, and I, I love that about it. You know, it's a great place. And I think, I think Bill is just really good, good fit in that. Yeah. You know, he's not... He's not a fixed, you know, he's, got, he's flexible, you know, he's, he's, he's not a fixed thing, he's, he's flexible, he's a thinker, yeah. and so he's a right person. A good listener. Yeah, absolutely. Because outside of probably Louisiana, there aren't that many people who will use a judgeship the way it should be used, to collect political favors, to make a lot of money, to get in bed with developers. Phil do all of that. Phil make a zillion dollars for himself. I, I think we need, I mean, Phil's the Louisiana model of a judge.